Yo guys, welcome back to the channel and today, I know, be ready for this, Manchester United have made a signing. So, I'm recording this on the Tuesday evening, so the deal has not been officially announced yet, it's not agreed completely yet, but Manchester United looks like we have just made our first signing of the window. Terrell, no, Terrell Malassia from final, the 22-year-old left-back slash left-wing back, I guess, is coming from Netherlands to England and, more importantly, Manchester United for a fee, I believe, 15 to 20 million for a young fullback from a not a top league maybe but an established Eurodivisie league it could be a big big discount now I'm not going to sit here and pretend to have any idea who this kid is but I've done some digging in the last couple hours I've spoken to some people who watch the Eurodivisie a lot more than me and by the looks of things we look like we're getting a big big player for a big big bargain but before we get into that smash that like button subscribe if you're new and let me know firstly do you know who this kid is and secondly are you happy or not with the signing of the young um dutch fullback so the good 20 odd million max i believe the rumored fee is 15 million um again at the time of recording we've not officially agreed it yet but it looks like we've hijacked the move he would looks like he was going straight to france to play for leon but we've made a deal we've offered him more money than leon we just need the player to officially say yes this is done if you're watching this he said yes we've got the player result boys but it looks like we've got him um 15 million now like i said i'm not going to see and pretend to have any idea who, idea who this kid is but it looks like he's quick he knows how to play a ball i've been looking at some of his stats ain't big chances made per 90 on average i believe he's got one goal and four assists in all of the eurodivisie season he was a big part of that um final side who got to the conference final only to lose out by jose Mourinho's roma he looks like he's Kind of like a Trent style player, more of a wing back than a full back. Um, he loves to get forward, like I said already. He's quick, he pings a ball, he's got that switch of play all the way across the pitch. He can get that over the top ball in behind to the strikers, and he's a left footed left back. Ronaldo is absolutely loving life right now. A full back designed to cross in a ball from the left. Now, I know Luke Shaw has been hit and miss. Um, since the arrival of Ronaldo. Same with Tellez. You like to think they can both whip those balls in. But this kid, I'm not going to say he's a specialist why he's still so young, but this is what he does. He can go to the byline, cut it back. He can cross those balls in from deep, like those, I guess, Trent Alexander-Arnold or Andy Robertson type balls. He literally lives in that opposition half. He knows how to do the defensive work. His positioning, his reading of the game, his speed, his strength, his aggression, everything looks like it could be perfect now like i said this is just going off what i've seen from little clips from reading into his stats but it looks like we are getting a big big steal and for 15 million even if it turns out for this kid to be an absolute waste of money 15 is a lot of money of course but for manchester united it's chump change we'll get this like the glazers take this out on a weekly and nobody bats an eyelid you know what i mean so 15 mil it's almost like a free hit it can't go wrong. Um, but in terms of the negatives, it is a signing which doesn't come with a lot of experience in terms of who is he. It's kind of an unknown quantity. It could work amazing. £15 million bargain, starting eleven for Man United. We're raving about him in years to come. It could be a similar story to Dan James. We get a lesser known player for about £15 million, Just to shipping off in a year or two's time. But... It's hard to go into too many negatives about this kid because there isn't any. <laughs> it's a 15 million for a defender, a left back, which maybe we needed a right back more than a left back, but it's squad depth. It means that maybe we can ship off a Luke Shaw or a Tellers and that gives some like 20, 30 million in to the kitty to maybe go on and put that towards an Anthony or put that towards a centre back or a DM or that type of thing. So that could be good. See, I'm trying to talk about negatives and I'm going back to positives. So this signing is perfect. Like I've already said, I'm not going to pretend to understand who this kid is. I've literally only seen him a little bit here and there. Um, mostly just in the last couple of hours of researching him whilst I've been at work. But it looks good. And obviously at the time of recording this, we've not got De Jong over the line. 
We've not got Ericsson over the line, but this could be a big week. By the end of this week, it looks like we could potentially have three new players in this squad. Now, if we ended this window with Malassia, Ericsson and Dion, I'd take it. Would I see it send us a good window? Mm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, especially the amount of players we let go. Whether or not they're better players or worse players, that's up to you guys. But in terms of what we need to revamp this squad, we probably need a couple more names to add to that list. Don't get me wrong. Malassia, young, unproven. He's going to be hungry. He's coming to a club like Manchester United. He's going to be wanting to prove it. Get his name in the team sheet. He looks like one of those players that won't go straight into the eleven. although saying that, Ten Hag's obviously seen him being an Ajax manager. Um, I believe he's like final. I don't know where they finished in the league. Probably second or third, to be honest. You know, disrespect to the rest of them. But um, he obviously knows what Ten Hag's about, just like Ten Hag knows what Malassia is about. He's obviously seen something in him um, across the last season. Um, so don't get me wrong, that's a big bit of business. Ericsson as well, if we get him in, massive player there coming in. De Jong, need I say less. But we need a lot more than just those three. But definitely, a player like Malassia is a lot more of a better look than shelling out loads more on maybe a player who's better, more proven, but for more money. Because this signing screams Ten Hag all over it. This is the type of player that Ten Hag's been upright. I've seen this kid play. Week in, week out, whilst he's at Ajax, get him here in Old Trafford, he is going to be my player. So although people and myself might be thinking, Shaw or Teller should play over him, you don't know that. Ten Hag might come in being like, right, Shaw, Tellers, thank you, but no thank you. This kid here, he's my left back. He's going to be playing on that left flank for Man United this season. You never know how it can go. Will we start, when we signed Tellers for that cheap, it was like, right, Shaw's gone, Tellers, you're my man. Shaw ended up being our main man. So it's one of those things, anything can happen. But it's definitely a massive step in the right direction. And obviously, it's a nice little signing. Those kind, those kind of like shrewd signings that, kind of like the Bruno Fernandes, where a couple of people are looking at him, Man United you know, just pip it to it. Um, I'm kind of surprised this happened that quick, because there was obviously links to him near the start of the window, but... All of a sudden, it's just been like, boom, we're getting Malassia. Do you know what I mean? So it's a big bit of business, a quick bit of business, and a rare, nice bit of business from Manchester United. I don't know why the Glazers have opened their pocket for this, but it's happening, and I'm absolutely here for it. But let me know your thoughts down below, because like I said, I'll be very surprised if many United fans especially know a lot about this guy. I'm sure everyone's going to be absolutely experts by the end of the day. But um, let me know your thoughts on him, because... Obviously, if you're seeing this video, we've signed him. But um, it could be a big bit of business in the future for so cheap. And even if we sell him on in a few years' time, we're definitely going to get our money back. 15 million, 100% we'll get that back. So let me know your thoughts down below, of course. Um, so, smash that like button if you enjoy and subscribe if you are new. Also, I don't know when this is going up. I will upload this video when we announce the signing or when we've agreed the deal for um, Terrell Malassia. But... This Friday, the 1st of July, we will be starting our annual Manchester United giveaway. So stay tuned for that. All the info on that will be coming your way on this Friday or last Friday or whenever you're seeing this. But um, yeah, big, big giveaway coming your way. So do not miss that. And hopefully a big, big left back signing and a big week on the cards for Manchester United with the likes of De Jong, Eriksson. And after this signing coming out of nowhere, potentially more coming to Old Trafford this week. But that's it from me, boys. Smash like, enjoy, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you boys next time. Take care. Peace.